you'll turn him into the best fertilizer for orchids. Crush the dried piece and pour hot water over it. Use this tea to water your flowers regularly once a month. It will revitalize every orchid. Buds and blooms will multiply like never before. You won't recognize your orchids. Their flowers will be even more beautiful. All thanks to dried banana peels. After eating bananas, don't throw away their peels. Just lay them out to dry on the radiator. You can also use the preheated oven after baking or cooking dinner. This fruit will make your orchids a picture of health, their roots will be nourished, and the leaves beautifully green. This fertilizer is the simplest way to fertilize orchids. It's a vital source of essential minerals like potassium, phosphorus, and calcium. It will save every orchid. Simply divide the dried banana peels into smaller pieces. Pour hot water over a portion of dried banana peels. Close the container. After brewing, let the infusion cool. Use this banana tea to water your orchids. It's a natural remedy that orchids adore. It's full of trace elements that orchids need. They will bloom beautifully all year round. Just one fruit will make orchids burst with flowers. They'll grow like crazy. Fertilizer made from the peels of this fruit is the number one tonic for orchids. Banana peels, as we're talking about, are like the elixir of youth for orchids. When you eat bananas, you peel them, the peels you usually throw away. That's a big mistake. You can make use of banana peels, so don't throw them in the trash. Bananas and their peels contain many substances that orchids love. These include potassium, phosphorus, calcium, silicic acid, and sulfur. This makes orchids healthy, with beautiful green leaves and roots. Plenty of buds also appear on them. Simply prepare a simple fertilizer from them. But before you do that, wipe the orchid leaves with the peel. This alone will nourish the orchids. The leaves will shine. Now you can prepare the fertilizer. Cut the banana peels into smaller pieces. One or two banana peels are enough. Transfer the chopped peels to a jar. Pour in a liter of warm water and close the jar. Leave the jar for a day. The next day, strain the peels. You can now water the orchids with this water. Just feed the orchids like this once every two weeks. You'll forget about any problems in their cultivation. Water from banana peels is not only suitable for watering. You can also wipe the orchid leaves with it. It's a versatile fertilizer, most suitable for orchids. Sprinkle a handful over the orchid. This fertilizer will make it bloom abundantly. You can have beautifully flowering orchids at home if you provide them with the right supplements. I'll show you how to feed orchids. With this fertilizer, they will produce many new buds, be healthy and robust. New flower stems will appear, even on old stems. You'll learn two methods that I use to fertilize orchids with one product. Here's the first method. Pour about a cup of rice into a pan and turn on the stove. Heat it in a dry pan for about three minutes. It should be lightly toasted, but not burned. When it cools a bit, transfer the rice to a blender. Grind the rice grains. Transfer the rice flour to a jar. You can store it this way and take the right amount for orchid fertilization. I take a tablespoon of ground rice and pour it into a bowl. Then, I pour boiling water over it, mix, and leave it to cool. During this time, the water will absorb many minerals from the rice. You can also use ground rice with cold water. Pour water into a glass with a teaspoon of ground rice. Leave it for some time to let the water absorb the most valuable elements from the rice. You can water orchids with this water. Thanks to this fertilizer, the orchid strengthens. You can give at least five tablespoons to each pot. It's enough to do this once a month. The second method is traditional, using raw rice. Pour water over the rice and let it stand. You can use warm or cold water in this method. In the case of cold water, always leave the rice in the water for a longer time. Use this fertilizer regularly, especially when orchids have flower buds. This way, you'll have beautiful flowers. Just one teaspoon of this spice is enough for orchids to be covered in flowers. This trick is used by orchid growers. Thanks to it, their flowers bloom all year round. Yellow leaves and withered stems may be a sign of serious fungi. It turns out that garlic is the secret ingredient that works great as a fertilizer for orchids. It contains many minerals such as phosphorus, 
iron, and potassium. It also has antifungal and antibacterial properties, acting as a protective shield against insects and mites. Take three cloves of garlic and crush them. Then, pour a liter of water and leave it overnight. The next day, pour the mixture into the flower pot. After 30 minutes, pour off the excess fertilizer. Garlic water can also be poured into a sprayer and used to mist the leaves. The scent of garlic and its antifungal properties protect the plant from diseases and pests. For busy individuals, there's also a simple recipe with granulated garlic. Just add a teaspoon of the spice to a liter of water, then mix the solution and water your plants with it. And that's it. Garlic infusions serve not only as protection, but also support growth and blooming. Garlic acts as a nourishing agent. It contains active substances and nutrients. Simply fertilize the orchids with it at least once every two weeks to make them bloom again. It's the only fertilizer I use for my orchids. They literally bend under the weight of the flowers. This fertilizer is for free. Simply water your orchids with it to encourage the growth of new leaves. Orchids are very temperamental plants, and many people struggle with their care. If you want to see new leaves, make sure to provide proper nutrition for your orchid. To prepare this fertilizer, you only need one ingredient. Put rice into a jar and pour warm water over it. Wait a few hours until the water becomes cloudy. This suspension is rich in silicon, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, potassium, and vitamins. Use it to water your orchid and nourish its roots and stems. You can also use cooled water from cooked rice. This fertilizer is like a vitamin bomb and also has a hydrating effect. Repeat the process every two or three weeks. You will quickly notice that the plant starts to produce new shoots. Rice water alters the soil's acidity and protects against diseases. You can also use it to water other potted plants. Just one teaspoon is enough to stimulate orchids to bloom. The plant will bend under the weight of the flowers. Forget about watering them with plain tap water. This homemade fertilizer will work much better. Orchids are very finicky plants. Providing them with the right conditions for blooming is very demanding. It turns out that just one teaspoon of this powder mixed with water is enough for the plant to grow beautiful and healthy. Water the orchids only when their substrate becomes dry. It is generally accepted that this plant should receive a portion of water at intervals of a few days, but no less frequently than once every two weeks. Don't water them with plain tap water alone. Prepare a homemade mixture that will make them start blooming. Put a tablespoon of gelatin in a bowl, then pour warm water over it and stir until the powder dissolves. Gelatin is rich in nitrogen. It is thanks to it that plant roots become stronger and develop faster. In addition, Regular nitrogen fertilizer feeding causes the plant to grow more vigorously and produce flowers more often. When the mixture becomes transparent, pour it into half a liter of cold water. Mix everything together. Water the orchids with this prepared mixture. Plants nourished with nitrogen develop new flowers faster. Thanks to fertilization, they will also delight our eyes for a longer time. This watering fertilizer is cheap, natural, and effective. It's worth using it at least once a week. Since I've known this recipe, my orchids have been blooming like crazy, and the flowers last on them for up to nine months. Them for